is Kate Stockman, and I'm honored to be a part of Artscape for uh, 2020 and 2021. I'm an assemblage jewelry artist. I also work with other media, but my favorite medium is jewelry, and each of my pieces tells a story. Uh, perhaps it touches your story. I call my work Touchstones Anecdotal Art. Each piece tells a story, perhaps it touches your story. And the, the necklace that I made that is on the banner that I'm so proud of is called Starry Night. The pendant is set in sterling and I'm an assemblage artist, not a metalsmith or lapidarist. So I find what other people love to create and I create with those. So um, I have a pendant here uh, with ocean jasper in it um, that looks just like Vincent's Starry Night. And um, I think, uh, well, stones are storytellers, and they all have a story to tell. They are the record keepers. And this one talks, speaks to stars, and as well as the ocean, because it's very, it's ocean jasper, which is mined in only one place on the whole planet, which is just off the coast of Madagascar. That, I think that's where the original Garden of Eden must have been, because it's so full of exquisite stones. Um, I hope to go there one day. Anyway, in this necklace, um, the ocean jasper is hanging, I have three different strands for this necklace. The darker strand that the Starry Night is hanging on is mostly green rutilated quartz. And there's also some green praseolite or green amethyst, which is also praseolite. There's citrine in that strand also, and it's a, just a beautiful, deep but soft green. And then that is complemented by the middle strand, which is Ethiopian opals and moon, a rainbow moonstone. And Ethiopian opals are just luscious. And these glow like the stars. And the third and lightest strand is green moonstone. Um, moonstone has several different colors. Um, rainbow as well as green, gray, peach and white. So that's uh, my um, necklace here. Each of my necklaces is adjustable so that depending on your neckline, your mood, you can wear it longer or shorter. I prefer longer necklaces obviously, um, but some people don't and it's not the best feel for some people, so I make it adjustable. I'm in the midst of fall. It's um, mid-September and I am in a flurry of leaves and acorns and other fall uh, jewelry that I'm making for some shows I'm doing um, I'm, that I'm very excited about. And um, I also am a book binder. Uh, most of what I do nowadays is take old photo albums, Victorian photo albums, and up-level up them, upcycle them um, from the bin box to the, um, to the bookcase as journal covers, and they're just beautiful. Uh, otherwise, they'd be in the recycle bin or the attic. And I love making books, and I love telling stories. I want to thank the Laurel Magazine um, for being my sponsor for the, the Artscape. I love the Laurel Magazine. It is the best magazine for collage words and photographs. A lot of the collages I make are inspired by some of um, the Laurel's uh, uh, photographs of art as well as their advertising. Um, so check it out. Make a collage. Um, I also want to thank the Art League of Henderson County for, ha for having this contest, making me able to show off my work. Um, and um, so thank you, and um, that's, if we meet, let's share stories. Thank you.